Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I got part two of that super turtle, of the arachnophobia super turtle. And this one, I'm sorry I didn't give him credit last video. Uh, Fredish is in here as well. Just wanted to make sure I mentioned him because he was giving me a hard time. He had to cry to me over the mic last night. It was pretty emotional. So I just, I'm sorry about that. You know, I'll go ahead and give you a shout out. Don't worry. So as you can see, we are building up uh, his base again. Because, you know, he lost it like a noob. And uh, right now we're just kind of, you know, super turtling. So, uh, anyway. Actually going to do all commentary this time. Um, uh, as Pro Mitch recommended it. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. Uh, yeah, so some pretty funny stuff happens in this. And I thought it was pretty cool. And look forward to the second version of this super turtle. Because it's a hell of a lot uh, better than this one. Uh, this one we didn't get all three stars, but in the next one I'm going to upload, everything is three star. Like, even our vampires are getting there, so it was pretty cool. The, the guys that stuck with the, uh, stuck in the game were troopers. But anyway, as you can see, we're going to have a whole army of grizzlies and a warhog in the mix. So, you know, who knows? Maybe, the, maybe you know, the first three times didn't work. You know, maybe the fourth time will work. Fourth time's a charm. Actually, I think this is the fifth time. But as you can see, he does have power turret mixed in there. Which is actually kind of threatening. Um, I, I wonder if the Anders went power turret because uh, they knew that. Which would be kind of interesting. Um, Mitch mentioned in his video that someone actually, or Billy, in the, uh, when he fought someone, that they went power turret as well. And I thought that's pretty cool. Um, I, I hope more people do that. Well, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, they're going to go ahead and try to attack from both sides. I don't know if I agree with that, but I think definitely attacking from one side, and I don't know, it kind of depends what you're sending, but anyway, as you can see, we're easily going to wipe the floor with these Grizzlies, but the power tour, somehow, our scares get the red health um, when we were facing all Grizzlies, but when these power turrets came over here, it really wasn't a big deal either. It probably had to do with the fact that we all pretty much had stars on our scares, but uh, anyway, yep, so... No micro, you know, just gonna all units X all units. and watch the battle. But I mean, I, I definitely think that, um, you know, if, if people want to beat a super turtle, um, they should definitely micro a little bit. The scare, you know, can still hit you, but who knows? You know, you'll live a little bit longer. I actually um, have a video I want to upload very soon of me facing a super turtle. So, there's not a whole lot of videos of people facing the Super Turtle, so look forward to that. Um, you know, clear your calendar. Just sit at YouTube and just wait for that to come up. I'll trust, I'll trust me, it's going to be worth it. Uh, so anyway, while this fight's going on, um, <laughs> is in the news of healing that turret. It's very important, because, you know, it's kind of funny, because we're like, well, we don't need to heal our Scarabs, because they're doing fine, so we're going to heal this turret. So anyway, um... Yeah, th I gotta say that Engineer for some reason I'm in a really good mood. It probably has to do with me eating undercooked chicken. Whenever I eat undercooked chicken, um, or just chicken I cook, as I call it, I get in a really good mood. So I don't know if anybody gets that feeling too. I'm just, I'm just messing around. But anyway. Um, yep, we're easily able to hold off this attack. And... Yeah. I think, um... Yeah, the next attack is gonna be pretty funny. I can't remember if it's this one. I don't. I, I, I should just watch the video and then wait. But anyway, this is a little bit later and right now we're just kind of, you know, waiting and, and here we go. Right back into another battle. And I, even though they in a super trial like this, you want to kind of not um, fall for something stupid, which kind of happens here. But, uh, you know, you kind of want to have at least some defenses on one side. You don't want to just send all three of your scarabs. If you're, if you're able to pull this off, I definitely, in experience, don't put all, you know, all your scarabs on one side because it's kind of, kind of bad because later on... Okay, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to stop now. I'm sorry. Okay? This is a first take. If I decide to upload it, then you'll understand. Um... So as, yeah, as you can see, they're going to go ahead and carpet the base. And if there's something I want to talk about, I just remembered. Uh, I see a uh, Fredish and you know Billy. They decide to vortex the Grizzlies a lot, and I, 
I don't know if I agree with vortexing grizzlies. Um, I think it's actually better. This is just me, by the way. You know, I haven't really found out what's better. I, I actually like to just kind of do the hammer because the hammer seems to just, you know, it's less damage on your scarabs and it's also pretty effective. I would say I think it does more damage. I mean, not only that, you're going to get debombed anyway. But I don't know. You know, I, maybe it's uh, it's up in the air for me. You know, I, I honestly don't think that. I don't know. So that's just me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave that to the pros. Um, so yeah. Oh man, you know I just saw that tank fly over to our chieftain. I cannot wait to upload this second uh, version because there, you know, it's funny if you have three chieftains and you birthright the same thing like in sequence, it'll just fly in the air like crazy. It's hilarious. So yeah, definitely look forward to the second part. I might actually uh, upload that right after this. Nah, actually, no, never mind. That takes a long time. But as you can see, I'm going to try and vortex down this stuff. And see, I don't really like it. It's not doing too much damage. And I think it takes like four or five. It takes about five hits for a regular grizzly, and then like seven or eight hits for uh, a Spartan grizzly. And and I could have had it there, and it would have had less damage. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I should make some kind of uh, my own version of Mythbusters. Um, but anyway, um, so right now we are just killing up these grizzlies because, and you know, actually after this, I'm pretty sure that they get a little smarter and they're like, you know, these grizzlies are not working out, but they did decide to do the, uh, all vehicle depot pump for a little bit, but then they stopped because they realized that it's just feeding us stars. And, um. Yeah, as you can see, we're not taking any damage whatsoever. I mean, we're not even close to it. And, you know, I gotta say, uh, sometimes I feel like maybe I should sacrifice my chieftain. Or, you know, like I had to tell my teammates to sacrifice the chieftain. Uh, just, just to make the game interesting. But, uh, as you can see, um, in the Super Troll, I don't like to do all anti-air turrets, you know. I see a lot of times in a Super Troll... Everyone will leave it all anti-air, and I'm like, well, if you know what they're building, there's no really reason to do that. Especially for my base, you're not going to see too much air at my base, uh, where you know, back in the back one. So I kind of have to switch them all to anti-vehicle. I put the two in the back as anti-air, but two in the front anti-vehicle definitely. I think you sh everyone should do that actually. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. This time I'm going to decide to vortex down the wolverines because they they don't have as much health as grizzlies do. Um, because, you know, grizzlies are really fucking overpowered, all that help. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of funny. we got two vortexes going right now. And uh, it's kind of cool when you have three going at once. It's, it's, you'd think it, 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 they should, like, combine together. If they were going to do anything in Halo Wars 2, I don't know. That's something I'd want to, like, I have a bunch of ideas for Halo Wars 2 that they could maybe make the game a little more interesting. Like, maybe, maybe uh, the Covenant could go to Tech 4 and, you know, like, get some more upgrades you know i started thinking it may be kind of nerdy but i was thinking like what kind of upgrades you could have as tech 4 and i was thinking like you know maybe for the vampire you have like a pink mist upgrade so when they shoot that needlers after after a while they'll explode and do more damage i thought that would be a pretty cool upgrade uh you know if anybody else has any cool ideas for uh, halo wars 2 that you know you thought about you know go ahead and uh leave a comment of that because i think that it's kind of interesting you know like, what would be, like, a Tech 4 upgrade, or what would be a new leader, you know? So anyway, as you can see, uh, Fresh has got two star, I believe. And it's about an hour. I can't read it from here because it's kind of small. Uh, that's what she said. But it's about, yeah, it's like an hour or so in the game. And we're just chilling. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's got a two star. I got a one star. And I don't think we get a three star. Uh, anyway. Engineer ready. Yeah, I think I'm just checking this out for some reason. I think I was trying to check out the points and everything because it takes me a while to add. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Um, yeah, he's just going to go ahead and decide. Fred is just going to go ahead and decide. Get more shields on his base, which is definitely a good idea, especially that base. That base is seriously under a lot of, been on a lot of attack. And look at this shit out of nowhere. Uh, at first I was looking at this and I was like, oh great, grizzlies. And then I'm like, wait a minute, grizzlies can't lock down? And then, yes, sir. That's right. And you can... Oh, it, so, see, this is why I would leave it on the game jet, just because Fredish is screaming like a little girl right now. And he barely, uh, you know, escapes that cryo. I honestly think he should have. I kind of wanted to scare him to die. 
we were kind of racing to see who can get the three stars first, and that's what we do in the, the second uh, version of this Super Turtle, so look forward to that. Spoiler, I win! Anyway, um... <laughs> uh, yep, this is actually kind of a threat. Not really. Like, this... This would be kind of more of a threat if they attacked on both sides, maybe? Because then our scares really couldn't run anywhere, and we would have to take these out as soon as possible. Um, and they actually do attack on both sides, but they just didn't do it fast enough. See, these guys that were pretty creative, I actually liked it. They were actually doing some shit that I thought was like, hey, you know what, that's thought out a little bit. You know, hey, they built anti-vehicle, we have vehicle, that's pretty smart, right? And, um, so anyway, I tried to tell my teammates here to just send all their vampires over, because, you know, they really can't shoot up at it, but I'm like the only one that did that. But it's all good, you know. It's whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and try and snipe these um, Cobras. I don't want to get too close. But anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think uh, actually Mitch was talking about... Uh, this is something really random, but... Mitch was talking about the graduation thing for uh, college. And if anyone's in college, it is really fucking stupid. Like, I don't know how... Like, I would have had to hate, take six classes every semester to, to graduate on time, which is stupid. Anyway. Um, but one thing I also want to talk about that's really random. And you know what? It's probably not going to be anyone in here. I don't think anyone that watches my videos cooks food. <laughs> Maybe only me, but... Yeah, I saved... I mean, I'm not even going to mention this shit. Because you know what? You guys don't care about cooking. Okay. The only thing you guys are interested in cooking is these fucking grizzlies. Okay, that was really lame. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, this is a first take, like I said. So, anyway. You know, fuck, I'm just gonna leave this cake. There's so many other things I wanna talk about. Yeah, it's whatever. We'll leave that for another day. <laughs> I, I, I apologize for the shitty, the shitty, uh, fucking commentary, but you know what? You're gonna have to deal with it. Um, so, yep, right now, this is very easy to deal with. And as you can see, the game freezes, because you know what? I, after you see all these stars building up, there's really no point in playing, you know? So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and give Fredish Scarab the twirl, the twirl around. I'm going to give my Scarab a little, little peek there. Billy's also got a two-star. No, he's got a one-star. What a noob. Ah, I'm kidding. Um, so, yeah, there goes Anders, which... You know, I was waiting for them to resign, and uh, they actually decided to stay in for a little bit. Um, that's kind of, that's always funny, you know. You know, when I see that, I imagine. I always wanted, like, I don't know if anyone else at Super Drills wants to, like, know. Yeah, right now we're just, hold on. <laughs> right now we're just targeting down Billy Scarab since it's, you know, not as good as ours. But, um, what I wanted to say is I always wanted to know what other people are thinking, like, during a Super Turtle. Like, I wonder if they're, like, if it's their first time, they don't really know what a Super Turtle is, or they're, like, something like. You know, I don't know. That's just interesting. And as you can see, Billy's gonna go ahead and flare the map a shitload of times because he knows they fucking hate that. And, um, yeah, and then actually, if you combine red and blue flares, it turns purple. Look. See? Oh, what? You're saying that just because I have a purple teammate? Well, here's my argument. Can you disprove that it colors it? No, you can't. You cannot disprove that. So, yes, if you two, two flares in the same time, they're both red and blue, it'll turn purple. Okay. So anyway, what was I saying? Something stupid, probably. But yep, as you can see, we all went to go attack. <laughs> yes, sir. All Cobras. I don't know. I laugh whenever I see that because it's just funny how that they did that. And you know, I was I was thinking that Cobras are kind of stupid when they lock down. And if you're going to actually do this, I recommend just doing one at a time locking down. But this is actually kind of funny. And you know what they should have done? I was thinking maybe kind of disrupt... You know, there was two of them. If they had three of them, they could just... While we're attacking their bases or something... Like, it would have to be perfectly timed, but... Just disruption bomb our, our, our pads so we can't go back. That would be pretty interesting. But um, then we could just vortex down the Cobras once we get there. But it would take out a base, I would imagine. So anyway, we're going to go ahead... Or at least I'm going to go ahead and try and kill these Cobras... Right now they're targeting the base, and you know those just locked down, so we're not really worried right now. So yeah, that's that. Um, uh, 
Uh, that's the one thing, though. You know, I, I really wish Cobras were better. I'm not going to lie. You know, I remember when I was kind of a noob at this game. You know, I still am, but I do know some of the, you know, the higher level rules and stuff. I'm not, like, you know, a noob. I just, you know, don't play at a high level that much. But, um, you know, I, I really was disappointed when I found out that Cobras really suck. You know, I was hoping that Cobras could be used by as anti-vehicle. I was, I mean, they are, okay, I mean, they're more of a defensive unit. You know, I was kind of hoping that they would, you know, you could put them in key locations on maps. But it really don't matter, because you can just go around them, and they kind of suck, and they really have no help. It takes one canister from a power turret to kill it. Um, so it's really dumb. I guess it does have to be Spartanized, but still, it's like, it, you know, it's just disappointing, you know? But I guess if they were too powerful, people would probably super turret all lot, because, you know, you don't have to worry about getting killed. But, anyway, enough about that. Enough about my, you know, being disappointed, but... Um, and this is just me. It, was it just me, or was I don't know if this was an upgrade because I I hadn't I hadn't played Halo Wars for a, like when, it, when Halo Wars came out for a year, and I then I picked it up after a year. Yeah, there they go. They were on now. But wasn't it true that the brute chieftain, if he were to hit infantry with his hammer, the second time he hits it, the infantry would die instantly? Was that like a uh, an update? Because I'm almost pretty. I'm pretty certain that that was the case but anyway maybe that's just me um so yeah uh <laughs> oh first take commentaries are the best because i don't even know what to talk about um so yeah right now i'm just trying to do that glitch trying to see where this base is at it really doesn't matter um i just don't want to kind of sit here for too long because as mitch says um the you know whenever you're in a three hour super drill, it's really the actual time is like three and a half hours. And that mainly has to do with how much lag there was. And there was actually a lot of lag in this game. And, you know, the total duration of this game, I think it says it was like an hour and 15 minutes, but my video was two hours. So there was 45 minute lag. So, anyway, as you can see, I got 21,000 points. Yeah. And, um,. Uh, I believe that's the Titan achievement. I actually think Billy said he got the Titan achievement. No, I think that was the second one. So I think it's actually 15,000. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But as you can see, they lost a lot of units. And that one guy only killed 14 things. I mean, that's not really saying much since we really only had scarabs. But still, you know, like, you know, at an hour and 40 something minutes in the game and you only kill 14 units. So anyway. There, you can pause if you're really interested in that. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of this Super Turtle. And I hope you guys have a good one. And, you know, as you can see, we're just going to go ahead and ready up for another one. So look forward to that, guys. All right, goodbye.